Are we well, outdoors bound this we morning? We are going outdoors bound this morning. We're going way outdoors. Yes, way outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Our very own George Nolov, he's getting the rare opportunity to fish in a high profile, prestigious fishing tournament. I'm pretty excited about that. He's a participant in the Walleye Federation Cabela's Bass Pro National Team Championship, where he's now providing firsthand accounts of what life is like for anglers on the tournament trail. Yeah, he's going to join us now over the phone this morning to give us a breakdown of his experiences. Good morning to you, George. All right, where are you? I am just east of Des Moines, Iowa. And I can tell you right now, the tournament trail is a pretty tired place. We've been driving all night long. Uh, we're on our way up to Mobert, South Dakota. We're going to fish a lake called Lake Oahe. It's part of the Missouri River system. And, and the National Walleye Federation uh, runs these tournaments in places where, you know, obviously, where they're specifically uh, targeting walleye. They've actually talked about bringing some of their tournaments down to, to our region, uh, the New River, Clater Lake, uh, uh, some of those places where we have walleye down there. I was very fortunate in that uh, a, a, a fellow I knew, a friend of mine, I fished with him before. He's a tournament vet, a guy named Dan De Benedictus. Uh, his, uh, the, the partner that he originally had when he qualified for this tournament couldn't make it, so he was looking for an alternate. I happened to be available, and, and so here I am uh, in Iowa on my way to South Dakota. Uh, and uh, the uh, tournament uh, starts next week, and, uh, you know, you can have – tournaments, bass tournaments, catfish tournaments, striper tournaments, all big money tournaments. Walleye is very popular uh, fish up here in the Great Lakes, mid, upper Midwest region. And so you're, you're seeing, you know, the, the popularity of that fish rise. Also in our region, you see more people target walleye. So when I got the opportunity to do it, I went to our bosses and I said, hey, I can do this. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> go ahead, do it. Yeah, so we can. got to go ahead. George, yeah, and you're, you're quite the lucky guy. You are quite the lucky guy to know people who can uh, allow you to skip out and have some fun yeah. on the job. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about this lake that you're headed to, though. It is, it's a huge lake. It is a long lake. It's uh, more than 230 miles long, uh, Lake Oahe. It's part of the Missouri River system, and uh, it runs, you know, there are places where it runs up to two, 300 feet deep, but, uh, the, you know, this is a huge area to fish. So, uh, you know, trying to figure out, what these fish patterns are and where they are is, is, is going to be the real challenge there. Now, competition doesn't start for another week, so how come you're heading up there so early? That, that goes back to, um, good question, that goes back to, to what we were saying. You can, I've been doing homework on this lake for, for months and going over topo maps and, you know, talking to people, reading everything I can, watching video after video of people who are fishing this lake. But the only real way to learn the lake is to fish it. And so there's something called pre-fishing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get up there, hopefully today, be able to start fishing uh, tomorrow all the way up through Wednesday and to get an idea of what the fish patterns are, where we can find them, and uh, hopefully, uh, say it with me now, catch some big old fish. Fish! Uh, that's what, yeah. Big old fish. <laughs> yeah, we're excited about that. Well, thank you so much, George. Good luck catching that big old fish. fish. And bring that purse back with you, too. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> now, if you'd like to stay up to date with Georgia's fishing adventures, you can check out the Outdoors Bound segment on our website, WFXRTV.com. George will keep us updated with a diary of his experiences.